Pokemon plus Hatsune Miku? It gives me this feeling that it's gonna be so much fun, wholesome, awesome. But what they decided to do was a sad, depressing, horrifying project. Called Project Voltage. Now what is Project Voltage? Project Voltage is a collaboration between Pokemon and Hatsune Miku, where 18 Vocaloid producers came together and made 18 different songs based on the 18 different types of Pokemon. So for example, we got Water, Earth, Fire, Milk. So you get the gist of it, but just look at all these designs. They are all so amazing, but I'm just worried a few of you will be wanting to sniff them shoes. <laughs> Yeah, so Project Voltage is about music. Okay, so you know the sad, depressing, horrifying thingy majig that I said earlier? Well, that was a lie. Wait, 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 don't leave me! That's only for a few of the songs, not all of them. And oddly, one of the, the sad, depressing, horrifying songs is one of my favourites. I like depression. You want to know what I find very weird? The fact that I have never played a Pokemon game. Oh, in my life, just zilch. None of it. Okay, except for Pokemon Go, but do we really count that? Uh... No, not again. I want to play the games. But before I talk about wanting to play the games, I need to talk about how Pinocchio P somehow made me feel nostalgic. It's so sweet. I'm not crying. I'm tearing up. Someone who has never touched a Pokemon game and has watched Jack Diddley Furkle of the anime felt nostalgic towards Pokemon. Now that is amazing. Dude, okay, I let's be real here. I don't have much of a Pokemon experience, but the way that the song was made, the way that the lyrics were portrayed, everything just tugged at the heart and I was tearing up. So just let me quickly break down how I think Pinocchio P managed to make me feel nostalgic. So within the first five seconds, that's all I need to describe it. The things you hear is just so genius. You hear a clock which represents time going by. You hear a gentle, slow-tempoed piano, which is just sad. And you hear a delicate voice of Miku, which sounds like when you're reminiscing your past. This dude is genius! He made the sound of nostalgia. Like how? How? I mean, I did just describe it, but how? So even if you don't know much about Pokemon, you can still feel nostalgic for it from this song. You can still understand the message he is trying to say. You can easily put yourself in his shoes and understand how he feels. You can! Oh god. You can feel the Pokemon inside Pinocchio P's heart. Now I wonder what the Pokemon inside your heart is like. Because in this project, there's a lot of references. And I don't understand them. Yeah, I can understand a few visual ones, which is the Pokemon. So it must be so amazing for you when you hear them or see them. I want to know how it gets your heart going. Like, do you get that excited for hearing a grass sound effect? I'm not even sure if that's a thing. But do you get excited about it? <laughs> like, for example, here's a song that's riddled with references. Okay, 
So I felt a bit lost with this one. Because I had too many sound references to the games that I just don't understand. Because have I mentioned that I've never played the games before? So for me, this song was just good. And for you, it could be amazing because you hear the references, you understand all of it, you get the vibe. I just wish I didn't feel lost, unlike you guys, who can get that excitement over a sound effect, or from the soundtrack in the games. Like, I know the other songs have references, but this one feels like it was made off of them. So it's not as impactful for me as it would be for you. It's still a good song, don't get me wrong. I just wish I could get along with it more. <laughs> God damn it, now I'm the one being depressing. <laughs> Alright, let's change it up. Now this is what it's about. It never misses. And I will not be missing when it comes to my title for the Giga P video. Look, okay, just so you guys know, it is when Giga P's music makes my P Giga. That's the title for that video, so stay tuned. I just got the title. I haven't worked on it, but I just got the title. <laughs> and that title is almost as genius as Gigapi's utilization of Miku's rap. Godsend. Thank you, Gigapi, for such a gigabop. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Copyright? Oh. What some territories is the song blocked in? Oh, some, some, some territories. The entire world is on this list, except for uh, North Korea. <sighs> oh, okay, okay. Uh, all my homies from North Korea, I hope you're having a great time watching that song. Why? Just why? The song slaps, but I'm not showing you any of it. You guys aren't getting a single drop. But I just don't know why. Every country, except for North Korea. But yeah, the song does this thing where it tickles my ass. Alrighty, back to me floating in a pool of tears. Flip-flop frick frack me! Imagine a pelican and an axolotl being best friends! Yeah, alright, you got it? Now Pokemon a it. Cute, adorable, wholesome, just holy moly, yes a roomy, I am here for it. Now, let's watch more of the music video. Such a beautiful story. I just can't handle how delicate a friendship between an axolotl and a pelican is. It's so, it's so, oh my god. <laughs> I love it. God damn, this whole experience has been filled with ups and downs. We have hype music, we have sad music. <laughs> it's like a goddamn roller coaster. And just like that, it's gonna happen again. Oh, hell yeah! God, this song knows how to hype you up. I'm so here for it. My only problem is... Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I got no problems with the song. It absolutely slaps. <laughs> oh my god, yes, I love it when I can sing along to a song. It's... It's so great. I love it when I can sing along to a song and uh, it's just so good because you can understand it so well. And then it comes to Encounter. It's good. It's good. And then it gets bad because of the mixing. Because there's just one problem. It's just I can't hear the vocals over the beat. It can just be very annoying when it happens in any type of media. <laughs> See, wasn't that a fun wee roller coaster ride once again? <laughs> because now it's time for pain. Let's play. Who's that Pokemon? Uh, Carl. 
Coral Reef. Don't know. What the fuck? That, that has to be an electric type Pokemon. It's not even electric. <laughs> Spike Crab Sand Slash. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Cloud Turtle. Torco. Torco. What, what is that? I don't know what that is. Urashifu. Ur oh, I'm so dumb. <gasps> no, not Koopgen. Not Koopgen. What is it? Ice Q. Oh, Sliver Wing. Of course, of course. I should have Oh, another fucking dragonfly. What is it? Is it going to be called Yun Yunka? Yanana? Dragonflies, they vibrate their wings. Is that what they call? Like the, the, is that, I don't know, vibrator for sex. It's not a vibrator. Clefairy? Clefairy. I got one. Oh, this is a uh, uh, Mudkip. I know you. Apparently I spelled it wrong, but got it right. Okay, cool. Oh, this is a frog. This is croak. Crocus, right? I thought that was Crocus. What if I just go frog? What if I just go frog? Uh, frog. Frogma. Frog egg. Frog egg? Frog egg. Frogs. Frog. Frogzik. Frog. Um. Frogage. Frogath. Frog. Frog aids. Nope, not frog aids. What about that? Frog. Fro, fro, frog aids? I don't even know what happened. Oh, yeah. Ponita. I should have. Oh, this is another frog. This is another frog. Fucking. Frog. Froggy. Fro Froggy. I did froggy. I hate the. I hate this. I hate. Who's that Pokemon? Who? Who? Who, who am I? Well, I sucked at that game. <laughs> all right. Okay. So let's play a new game. I didn't really get to show you all the Miku designs, so we're gonna play a fun wee TikTok game. It's called. Who are you? Miku edition. Fuck your star signs, fuck your moon signs, I want your Miku signs. Whoever you pause on is the Miku you are. Nice! You absolute loser. Unless if you got poison Miku. We've talked about the references, we've talked about the designs, and now it's time to talk about the music videos. Okay, we didn't talk about the designs that well, but they are just all well done. Fascinating, amazing, fantastic. Superb. There we go. Because <laughs> believe it or not, there are pretty cool music videos. There's so much personality for each one. Which is amazing, because I was a bit worried that they all might have a similar taste. Oh, man, was I wrong? There's so many songs I'll come back to just for the music video. Want a depressing music video? Watch Flying With You To The Sky. Want a creepy Pokemon music video? Watch Hugh Marsh. Um, which I absolutely love. The song is just great. The music video is amazing. I just love the way that everything is just drawn. I love it. Want to watch a music video that reminds you of my edits so you never forget who I am and it brainwashes you into subscribing today so I can reach my goal of 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year? Watch Mugen Ticket. Want an image? Watch the loud one. Want an anime? Then watch... This is such a great ending to an amazing project. It sounds like the finale. And what I didn't know was it is literally using all the champion theme songs across the Pokemon series. Because you know, I've never played the games. I just thought the song sounded cool. But no, it's just the games sound cool. And Eve utilized it in such a good way and made such an amazing song out of it. Plus the music video features the official designs and they look so amazing interacting with each other. And the animation is an anime. What the fuck? This music video has made me really want to do a full dive into Eve's music. Cause wow, I like this a lot. Like this song just sounds so badass and I'm here for it. So you know how I mentioned uh, how I've never played a Pokemon game. I was wondering, would you guys be down if I played Pokemon? What is it that everyone... Nuzlocke. Pokemon Nuzlocke. Everyone plays that game. And I'll be down to play it on stream for you guys. I, I just see it on my YouTube recommendations. 
Pokemon Nuzlocke. So I guess that's like a popular one that everyone likes to go back to. So if you want a stream of me playing my first ever Pokemon game to be called Pokemon Nuzlocke, then let me know by commenting down below and I'll get it ready for you guys. This project was so fun to experience. I may not have had the nostalgia as you. I may not have had the memories as you. I may not have the knowledge as you. But I can say I had a lot of fun. But not as much fun as you. <laughs> I just wish I could understand the references being sampled in every single song. But overall, this was such a great experience for me. Seeing you guys freaking out in chat and getting excited about Pokemon was just so wholesome to watch. And discovering new Vocaloid producers was amazing. All the songs were good to listen to except for... Mm -hmm. And Pinocchio P song was just amazing to listen to. That dude knows how to make me cry. <laughs> so I hope when I play that Pokemon Nuzlocke game, I can start to build the knowledge as you and also get to have a lot of fun. And yeah, other than that, that's all for the video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, then show some support by leaving a like and subscribing down below. And other than that, I hope you all have a great day. Keep smiling, be happy out there. And other than that, peace.